Mm. That is pleasantly skewed. Okay. So, in full, Imperial College's report on COVID-19. <clears throat> Until scientists develop a vaccine, policy makers have to rely on other methods to tackle the coronavirus outbreak. Here, we reproduce the epidemiological modelling guiding the decisions made by governments in the UK and other countries in recent weeks. Ah. Summary. The global impact of COVID-19 has been profound and the public health threat it represents is the most serious seen in a respiratory virus since the 1918 H1N1 influenza pandemic. Here we present the results of epidemiological modelling which has informed policy making in the UK and other countries in recent weeks. In the absence of a COVID-19 vaccine, we assess the potential role of a number of public health measures, so-called non-pharmaceutical invent interventions, from here on so-called NPIs, aimed at reducing contact rates in the population and thereby reducing transmission of the virus. In the results presented here, we apply a previously published micro-simulation model to two countries, the United Kingdom, Great Britain specifically, and the United States. We conclude that the effect effectiveness of any one intervention in isolation is likely to be limited, requiring multiple interventions to be combined to have a substantial impact on transmission. Two fundamental strategies are possible. A mitigation, which focuses on slowing, but not necessarily stopping, epidemic spread, reducing peak healthcare demand while protecting those most, most at risk of severe disease from infection, and B, suppression, which aims to reverse epidemic growth, reducing case numbers to low levels and maintaining that situation indefinitely. Each policy has major challenges. We find that optimal mitigation policies, combining home insulation, home isolation of suspect cases, home quarantine of those living in the same household as suspect cases, and social distancing of the elderly and others most at risk of severe disease, might reduce peak healthcare demand by two thirds and deaths by half. However, the resulting mitigated epidemic would still likely result in hundreds of thousands of deaths and health systems, most notably intensive care units, being overwhelmed many times over. For countries able to achieve it, this leaves suppression as the preferred policy option. We show that in the UK and US context, suppression will minimally require a combination of social distancing of the entire population, home isolation of cases and household quarantine of their family members. Okay. This may need to be supplemented by school and university closures, though it should be recognised that such closures may have negative impact on health systems due to increased absenteeism. The major challenge of suppression, the major challenge of suppression is that this type of inten intensive intervention package or something equivalently effective at reducing transmission will need to be maintained until a vaccine becomes available potentially 18 months or more, given that we predict that transmission will quickly rebound if interventions are relaxed. We show that intermittent social distancing, triggered by trends in disease surveillance, may allow interventions to be relaxed temporarily in relatively short time windows, but measures will need to be reintroduced if or when case numbers rebound. Last, while experience in China and now South Korea show that suppression is possible in the short term, it remains to be seen whether it is possible long term and whether the social and economic costs of the interventions adopted thus far can be reduced. 
that's the summary. Okay, I'm going to leave the introduction to the next chapter. I'm going to try and keep these seven minutes or below. Um, so that's the summary of this paper. Like I say, it has been written as a scientific paper, so we do have an introduction, we have methods, and we have results, and then we have a discussion on the back. Discussion is the long part, it's probably the most complex. But we'll do the introduction and the methods. Um, if you've got any questions, stick them in the comments below. If you want to keep up with this, obviously subscribe to the channel. I know it's a cancer channel, but you know, at the moment, so many cancer and COVID are brrr. Um, hello to my family. I am okay. Okay, I'm going to be okay. I feel crap. My bowels aren't working the way they should do, but I'm passing the time. It's nice outside. I'll be going outside. Oh, I should be going outside now, really. But okay, so let's do the rest of this.